Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do today, we're going to continue on with our Elementor Pro series here. Uh, we've got a fairly standard blog page here, it's my own blog. And we're going to convert this with the help of Elementor to something that looks like this. And it's really easy. And that's quite nice, oh, I like that. And we've got pagination on the bottom as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is. So first thing I want to do is create a new page. Element is absolutely awesome. There's a free version and a pro version. We're actually using the pro version today and you can download either version from my affiliate link below this video. So I guess we'll call it uh, first thing I want to do because I want this to be a full width section I'm going to change default template if you don't see it page attributes just hit the little arrow I'm going to change this to element of full width that'll allow me to have it full width with no sidebar here which is exactly what I want and of course I want to edit with Elementor okay once it's loaded We've got a nice little bar of our widgets down here. The free version, you get all these here. And if I drop down a little bit, you get a few more down here as well. With the pro version, you get a whole bunch more really functional ones right here. And this is what we're going to be using today. Mainly the, the posts one right here. But I'm just going to give my page a little title. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the free ones just to put a quick heading in here. I'm just going to left click and drag it over, drop it in our little box here. There it is. And you can either type it in here or go over to this little box and type it in there. There it is right there. Okay, well, I'm going to want it in the middle. I'm going to go over to style. I'm not going to spend too much time on this text color. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Typography, I want it to be a lot bigger, so I'm going to drag the slot size up, something like that. That's going to do fine. I want to capitalize it too, so I'm going to go to transform and hit uppercase. There we go. All right, the only other thing, I'm just going to put a quick background in this section right here. So here's the blue one, is the section, dark one's for a column, and the little blue one within it is for our actual widget. I just want to put a color behind the section with a bit of padding. So I've just left clicked on there. I'm going to go over to style. I'll chuck in a gradient quickly. I'll put blue at the top and black at the bottom. And I want a bit of padding, a bit of spacing. So if I go to the advanced padding. I'm going to uncheck that because I only want it top and bottom. In this case it actually wouldn't matter too much. So let's give it 50 on the top and 50 on the bottom. There we go. So there's our little title right there. So moving on down, let's hit that little box back here and go on down to one of our pro widgets right here which is the posts. And I've got plenty of posts on this site so it's going to pull them in. There it is and it's automatically pulled them in and that already looks quite good but I want to make it my own I want to style it up a little bit first thing I want to do is give it a bit of space top and bottom so let's do that I'm going to go over to the advanced tab same as we did with the heading up there don't want any padding left and right this time I'm going to give it say 80 on the top and 80 on the bottom all right so let's start playing let's start with our content tab what kind of blog layout do we want? Well, this is classic. They've got cards, which I really like. Just put it in a little card type thing. If you followed any of my bootstrap videos, you'll know all about cards. Man of columns. Well, three is good for me. Um, four is probably too much. I'll show you how to make this full width if you want in a moment but we do that in the actual section rather than the widget itself. I'm going to pull that back to three, that's fine. I'm 
down below we can change the amount of posts that we have on the site here let's make it 12. yeah i want to show the images which is fine which is the next one you can now see we've got 12 of them here and again it already looks pretty good so we've got 12 of those show image yes masonry that gives it an interesting sort of effect whereas they're not the same height they sort of shuffle into each other so i'll leave it like that for the time being image size you can change i'm going to leave mine just like that you can decide whether to show the title to show the excerpt and actually the length of the excerpt you can change there if you wanted to do here you can decide whether to show the date or metadata so if you get rid of that one it'll just show the date down the bottom there now it just shows the date down the bottom of there which is fine we've got a read more button and you can change it to whatever you want Or more info whatever you want to say there that's fine and we can style all these things we'll be doing that in the next tab now the badge here's the badge you can decide whether that to have on or not what you want it to say say tags or categories now the avatar I haven't got an image associated with my account on here I guess I ought to put one there, but that's where that is. I'll just leave that in there for effect. Don't need to do anything to the query. If you want to, you can exclude and include stuff by just typing it in there. Include by author or team. Date, etc, etc. Like I say, I don't need to do anything with that. Pagination. Well, I've got quite a lot of blog posts, so at the end of the page there's going to be plenty more. So I want to turn pagination on so that anybody can read that's reading it has a chance to read more. So it's none, numbers, previous, next. I want numbers and previous, next. There we go. And like I say, we'll be styling this in a moment. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You need to play around with yours and get it how you want to see it. Okay, so we've got our sort of basic layout there. Let's move on to the style tab columns gap well, that's pretty obvious that's the gap between the columns and underneath is the gap between the rows which is the one there a lot of people like to have these butted up against each other if you do just simply pop that all the way to zero and they'll be beside each other you've still got a little gap below if you want them to be top and bottom to each other just take that down to zero and again that's a nice effect i've seen a lot of sites with people doing that it's entirely up to you i'm going to put a bit of space back there i think it was 30 and 35. in fact i'm going to make it 30 and 30 so it's the same that's fine alignment at the moment i've got it aligned left i'm going to leave it there of course you can hit the middle everything will be in the middle or right and everything's right aligned i'm going to leave it just like that now if we move on down to the card itself, which the card is one of these whole little posts here. I'll just open that up. Background color. It's just at the moment it's white, which is fine. Let's just make it slightly off white. Well, at the moment it doesn't look like much, but when we put a background behind it, it'll the white is just too bright. <laughs> I find anyway. Obviously you do things your own way okay border width at the moment we haven't got a border we'll just put one in there for effect we'll say blue and we'll make it uh, one pixel little up and down arrows there we go we've got a little blue border right there now border radius if we want to make these corners curved we just need to slide that up a little bit I want it to curve slightly curved that's fine horizontal padding that's top and bottom sorry horizontal is left and right vertical padding is top and bottom box shadow at the moment it's on once i put a color background in there i'm not sure if you'll see that or not i'll just leave it on let's move on down you can have an, a board you've got a little border there you can slightly see it if you wanted to have a 
more pronounced border I'll make it blue again there you can see it sticking out there but I don't think I really want that let's move on down to the image not much we want to do the image but we got some CSS filters right here and if I open that I'll just go to the hover tab and open that again and let's have something like saturation up full when we hover over it as you can see the sort of colors are getting a lot more vivid when you hover over so I'll just leave that like that again play with these because you can get some lovely effects and blurs and brightness and what have you the badge okay our badge I'm going to change it to an orange color I believe so background color if I just hit the blue I can just move this over and find a, a really sort of orangey orange that'll do I'm going to copy this hex code because I'll probably want to change a few other things to that color as well Y says you well that's just what I'm using today so let's move on down just click the color to close that up border radius is fine we've got that pill size going on there I'm not going to change anything there at all if you want to that's entirely up to you if you want to pop it down or more I'm going to leave mine 2020 I think that's where it was that's fine by me I'm not going to change the typography you can do that right there if you want to avatar leaving it right just as it is you can change the size you might have a picture or you can remove it back in that first content section okay so let's go on down to content title you can change the color again I'm not going to change much of this title there's your color typography spacing meta that's that down there excerpt this is this part right here I really don't want to change any of that um, okay well just for fun let's change the meta color and make that blue there we go I guess we could make it a little bit bold as well weight bold there we go you can see that fine moving on down the read more I'm gonna make that that orange color I copied that hex code for the badge up there just gonna click on that paste the hex code in there control V to paste there we go and I think I want to just bring that up in size a little bit little slider right here in typography that's fine okay well I'm fairly happy with that don't think I want to make any more changes I don't want to change the padding or the margins or anything else like that uh, we could add a little motion effect or something like that so let's just add that for fun entrance animation let's have it sort of fade up perhaps fading up there we go so we we're happy with that all I want to do now is go into the section and add a background color so I just left clicked on the blue section tab here I'm going to go over to style blue at the top drag that all the way up and black at the bottom let's just flip down and see what we got there it's fine I want to edit my pagination down there I forgot to do that everything else seems to be working fine here so let's do that quickly back into the widget little blue icon here and it'll be style there's the pagination right there what I want to do is normal I'm gonna leave it as it is I think did I give it a blue color I can't remember let's go down so we can actually see it no I did not let's make that blue and hover color I'm going to paste in that orange again hex code that I copied and also for the active page I'm going to put the same orange color in now I want to pop it down a little bit I think it's too tight to the bottom of that card there so let's go to the actual typography just above 
and just increase the line height that'll give it more space there we go that's absolutely fine pull out that letter spacing a little bit too there we go I think that's going to work absolutely fine so you can either hit the public publish page or you can just hit the preview changes right there so I'm just going to hit the preview changes because I'm not going to save this page and there we have it we've got our nice little mason masonry blog all right well I'm happy with that there's how to build a masonry blog section with a new Elementor Pro really easy to do and you can get some fantastic effects before I go I'll just show you how to make that full width I said I'd do that let's go back into here we just need to go into our section right here it looks like I need to adjust some padding up at the top there just need to flip that to full width and I would have probably added another column if I was going to have it full width like that but I'm going to keep mine boxed and you can actually change the amount the actual width of it by just sliding this slider right here until you find something that works for you I'm going to delete that and have mine to the default so there you have it there's how to do a little masonry blog with a new Elementor Pro it's absolutely fantastic if you want to take it for a test drive just click on my affiliate link below this video so once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.